why don't I show you? This is one of our tribal secrets. Um, but I think I'm just going to let you know. I mean, you you seem to have a way of getting yourself into little scrapes. You might as well know what kind of uh, what kind of situation you've walked into. Uh, for the first time, we seem to have settled a number of our theological difficulties, and by without too much. I guess it's not surprising that the way that was done was everybody got enough to eat. And I'll show you how we manage that. So he's going to take you on a walk um, up away from the tents and away from the uh, away from, basically on a walk th through some trails up into the hills into a very secluded area if you would like to come. I gather I can defend myself, so I'm probably going to follow him. Okay. Um, good enough. Uh, so, meanwhile, I think it's totally unfair for us not to go and see what's happening back at the pyramid. Um, so, <laughs> the, the, so, as soon as... Uh, as soon as... Uh, As soon as everybody sort of clears out, um, are you going to go up to where Augox is, or is she okay? You are. All right. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Um, and I think this might be, you know, our our first public quarrel. Mm -hmm. um, well, it's not too public now. Everybody's everybody's gone off, and you're up there on top okay. of the Holy okay. Pyramid in front of God and everybody. Okay. As we used to say. Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Agax, what are you doing? You know, I I bring a guest. I bring a guest here uh, to see our ways, and and um, you know, you try you try to dissect them, um, you know, in front of the entire community. What what kind of hospitality is this? You dumbbell. She says and shakes her head. I love you. Why are you doing this to me? Listen. I understand, okay? I completely understand that you've had a wonderful journey and a wonderful adventure. I completely get it. And it's clear that this robot has filled your head full of many interesting notions, none of which have anything to do with a faith that a sensible person would actually have, but fascinating and colorful, certainly. I completely get it. But let's face it. You're not your, your faith is strong, but you are not a thinker about why we do what we do. And Shkazak, through a very, very nasty scheme with your cousin, I might add, has managed to feed everybody all the time. So, it is a very delicate situation right now, okay? I got him. Okay. I've got the relic back. I've got our relic back. You were the hero for stealing it. That's great. You weren't the hero for running off with it. But... It's back. And with this, with this, we can settle this religious issue. We can have things be like we want for you and me. I mean, I, 
I don't think you get why I can't just give all this up. Why I can't just go off with you. Do you know how much I've dreamed of that? But no. No Vargar would accept us as a couple. Nobody. I have to be the priestess. This has to be maintained. And I don't know what your robot did, but all sorts of mayhem was happening here. And poor Shriegax over there got maimed. So, what do you expect from me? I expect you to be the same person that I left before I went on this journey. I thought she makes I'll reach gestures. Out like, she takes off her fancy hat and shreds it first with her claws <laughs> and then with her teeth. And then she curls her fancy hat, what's left of it, down to the ground and says, Look who's talking! I thought that those vestments were supposed to be uh, symbols of defiance. Uh, it turns out that they're just the vestments of any other clergy. You know, you'll you'll bow to uh, uh, you'll bow to theological uh, uh, compromise. Um, you will you'll bow to whoever can feed the tribe. That's not you know that's not the agox I left. Now that you're back, taking care of Shkazak is actually feasible. Done properly, we maintain the benefits that he has addled everybody with. But you're not going to achieve anything by stirring up the excitable among the population who happens to be everybody. I want to believe you. I really do, Agox. What do you have what do you have in mind? Tell me this great plan. But I'm not going to just follow you blindly anymore. You've got to tell me everything. If I if you think I can, you know, think through it properly. Well, <laughs> She unsuccessfully manages to mask the fact that that had not, you know, that that that, that was actually a question she had too. Um, so, <laughs> um, I mean, come on, face it, you're a great big dork who can kill people. I mean, come on. <laughs> what, she's not. Yeah, but I did. She's I not didn't entirely know mischaracterizing you. Right? I know. <laughs> I know. So. Um, so anyway, the, uh, the, the, the two of you are definitely, okay, so she says, all right, the most important thing is that this relic has to be managed safely and privately. And activated, if we can, only at the supreme moment of the removal of Shkazak from our misery. So what I need you to do is to be visible, threatening, uh, protective, and uncompromising. Uh, actually, this, what happened today, could actually work in our favor. <sighs> she says, I do admit that having everybody kiss your ass all day, it, it kind of, it, it affects the judgment. It might look pretty good for me to get 
you know, to, to show my capacity for reflection when called out. Um, but it's not just a show, Theoxa. I'm really glad you're back. And we can be together. Even if I have to do a little editing in the holy texts. I'm, yeah, what, what else? What, what else are they for? <laughs> um, that robot, though. Well, somebody's going to have to show the ultimate defiance. I can tell you that much. And right now, they are the perfect candidate. I'm open to alternate suggestions. Unfortunately, we really aren't doing a whole lot of the usual uh, combats lately. People aren't hungry enough. So we aren't raiding into the other tribe's territory, and we aren't hunting down tasty humans in a way that would, you know, honor a sacrifice. Make an intuition check. Hey, I was afraid of this. <laughs> um, when I'm cutting um, an attribute in half, do you round up or down? Down, 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 down. down. So I'm rolling on two. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> That's what I uh, recently did very comfortably. <laughs> uh... All right, I have a passable. Oh okay. my god. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Um, yes, uh, in that case, that is just enough. Make a customs check. Um, okay. You'll get a, you'll get a pl column shift on this because it's your own customs that we're talking about. Oh, very nice. Okay, rolling on two again. Is that all? Hold on yeah, my knowledge is four. I, am, I don't have uh, customs checked. Boy, you are adult, aren't you? Um, okay. Oh, did I say that out loud? Um, so, yeah, I think... Uh, hmm. I'm just seeing about what else is... You see, because Passable typically likes a secondary check to follow it, and that's why I'm saying... So I'm right. trying to come up with that. Um, and so... Yeah, Customs would have to be it. I'll tell you what you get from the Passable, first of all, and then Customs can actually sort of clinch it into a a real success if it succeeds. Okay. Um, but for uh, what what you get, the idea is there's something odd about what's going on with humans, with tribesmen. Um, she just said something about how they weren't, I mean, raiding into the tribal areas and capturing prey. So go ahead and make customs and see where that goes. I'm actually asking for two spectacular rolls in a row. I'm not sure if that's fair, right. but go ahead. Yeah. And so just to check, so the version of the art table that I printed and pasted uh, bottoms out at three. So is that kind of the minimum? Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to make no, sure I wasn't giving no, myself that. That's absolutely okay. correct. Yeah. There's a minimum and a maximum. The table does not theoretically continue off of, it, off of its own self. Okay. Nice. Oh. <laughs> uh oh, inferior. Oh well. Yeah. Okay. Well, you don't get much more than that. I mean, you do pick up that something seems off about human and, and Vargar interactions. They don't seem that didn't make any sense. But putting two and two together did not happen. Yeah, it's. I mean. That's not surprising with, you know, Shkazak uh, taking on a leadership role. Of course, we wouldn't be, you know, fearsome. Uh, I wouldn't call him taking on much of a leadership role. 
I mean, they're all just a bunch of individualists and 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 heretics and you know peasant peasant logic really. Right. You know? Um, so uh, so you know she she grandly gestures and said, you know, the majesty of the of the church, you know, remains. So let me yeah. up, let me and let me in thirteen go out and find prey. That, that that will be easy. Let give give the robot a chance to contribute to the community. We can we can go out and get a human. She kind of looks at you and says, "Let's stay with my plan for now." <laughs> Um, unless you want to try to flatter her or to uh, to bargain perhaps <laughs> in some way if you were to offer something for that um, or uh, yeah that's pretty much your pretty much your options No, I'll play. I'll play the good soldier. Okay. Um, in that case, tell me where you two will be going now. Um, I don't know if you're interested in your sword or not. Um, I mean, I think I would probably be following her. I don't know if she has, you know, ritual ceremonial functions to perform. I mean, if I'm playing the good soldier, I'll be following her, looking prominent and threatening. Okay. Well, in that case, let's uh, carry on. There's somewhere that I do want to go with you um, that is not a map that I'm going to show you because it has secret things on it. Um, but I can describe to you that um, at a place toward the base of the pyramid, um, as you go down the steps... Uh, she says, uh, remember this spot, and you're about one or two steps up from the ground on that same staircase. Remember this spot. We'll, we'll come back to this. There's more to it than I think you know. Okay, so uh, after a little bit of trip up into the mountains and the trails, um, and after uh, Shkazak has greeted a Vargar or two who has been on these same trails and seems to be kind of watchful, uh, you will come to a remarkable place. And it looks like this. Let's go to the chat. You come to what looks like a beautiful little village up there. And it's extraordinarily picturesque with its multiple waterfalls and what looks to be kind of a weird element of the buildings. The buildings all have trees growing in and through them. And there was or seems to have been some sort of elaborate structure across the lake. And as you can see, huge roots have broken up through the stones in big loops and trees have completely overgrown it. You can see the little, the, the little lake there uh, looking across, there's this, from the waterfalls, there's this, uh, you know, kind of temple-looking thing built in. And you can see that it, too, is heavily overgrown. Um, you can see all sorts of other things. You know, look in, the, look in the back of the lake, and there's these monstrous lily pads there. And, you know, it's, it's, it's all sorts of picturesque. Um, the people there uh, look a lot like the tribal people of the region, um, but they seem to be rather, you know, the peaceful and, uh, you know, kind of, kind of relaxed looking. They don't seem to be doing anything very interesting aside from very basic tasks of living there. And even those aren't being carried out very actively or um, not very organized. So, um, Shkazak says, welcome to our pantry. <laughs>